Hey internet friend, Magic Brad here with Synergy Cafe and the Magic Brad TV show, don't you know? So, Andrew Yang, he's been on my mind lately. And it's not just him, but it's the concept of what he's talking about. Um, it just makes a lot of sense that everybody's talking about these like too big to fail corporations and and how there's loopholes for entrepreneurs to not pay taxes and and about reinvesting into the community, stimulating the economy. There's always talk about that kind of thing. Um, so this idea of that Andrew Yang has of giving everybody a thousand dollars, it seems just off the top, it seems like a welfare thing. It seems like a handout thing. But if you look deeper into it, it's kind of fascinating that like this is what I understand with the value added tax, which could be like a percentage of all the money that comes from a person that is have a, has a business. Like I have a business. So I would have a tax that would be paid into this pool. Just like Amazon that doesn't pay any taxes would have a tax, this value added tax, whether it be 1% or like a 10th of a percent or whatever the mathematics turns out to be. But all businesses, whether they're corporations like General Mills, Pillsbury, Target, 3M, um, Medtronic, Amazon, Uber, um, Ziggler, Caterpillar, um, all these businesses, big and small, pay a little bit, the same amount for everybody, like 1% or one-tenth of a percent, all goes into this pool, and then it's distributed to every United States citizen. You've got to be a citizen, and you can't be a criminal, because if you're in prison, you don't get the money. So that's an incentive to keep people out of prison because they're losing a thousand bucks a month. So this money that people have then gets distributed in their local communities. If I had a thousand dollars, I would use it to go buy ice cream. I would use it to go buy a pair of pants. I would use it to put gas in my car. I would use it to uh, buy things and primarily local. Granted, I might be able to utilize it for buying something you know, remote with uh, online or whatever, or on a vacation, I might take some to Bali, Indonesia or something. But primarily, it all goes right central back into our communities. So it makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know if I would vote for him for president or not. I don't get into the political whole thing. But the concept makes a lot of sense of taking the money, because the world is based on money. It's all best based on this exchange kind of thing of, of value and monetary stuff. You take this country, this capitalistic country that's making all this money, and you take a piece of that money, so the more they make, the more goes into this pool to help all this stuff happen. In fact, I would think there's going to be a surplus or an abundance because all the companies in the United States taking a piece of that going into this pool and you put that into $1,000 a month for everybody in the United States, I'll bet there'll be some leftover and you could use that for something else. Anyways, I think it's a great idea. You comment below, let me know your thoughts on it and uh, give me a subscribe and a like and join my little video club here. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll meet each other live and in person at a live event someday. So peace, love, and happiness. This is Magic Brad signing off. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be well. Bye.